Hello everybody, Sift here again with another backpack bounce run. And today I'm gonna try to do a stupid potion build. Is that gonna work? I don't think so, but maybe it will. We got a cheap shield, we're gonna buy the cheap shield. We found room, might as well throw a good old garlic in there and hope for the best. I guess, or just lose. Now nah, we're gonna get the garlic and hope for the best. I think we're gonna win with this. I would like the foods items to be inside of the backpack, so they have a chance to activate the poison. And let's go. Does this have a chance to activate the poison? It does. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do this and put this in. So now everything has a chance to activate the poison. Let's see how this is going to go. A double sword build. We have a shield. Theoretically, we should be winning. Theoretically, the shield literally is supposed to be countering exactly this. I guess the answer is no. Everything was a lie. It was not able to save us. We tried our best. <laughs> we tried our best. I mean, it is what it is. Double sword beats everything. We found glo go good globals of haste and walrus tusk. What I like to do, I'm thinking now a single claw build. Single claw walrus. No, 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 no. We're going to go with the region idea I have. I want to do the region build. We're going to do the region build. And I want to get as many healing herbs as possible. I found another wooden buckler. I could go for double wooden buckler. Or I can just get room and forget the buckler existing in general. Yeah, I'm going to just get room. And not only am I going to forget the buckler, but I'm going to do the click, or the trick. You sell this and buy that because this is the lucky buckler. That one was the unlucky one. And off it goes. No, somebody's definitely screaming at my screen. If you were going to do that, you could have gotten the second one. Eh, doesn't matter. Let's go. Maybe wouldn't. Bu maybe I should have gone for double buckler instead of healing herbs. Anyway, I want to get as many healing herbs as possible and as many potions as possible. I want to create a potion healing herb stupid build with fatigue. Something like that. And I want to get as many healing and regen as possible. Now, we're going to lose from every single ribcage blade we find in front of us. But uh, that is the price we will have to pay for playing stupid stuff. Regen, let's go. Room, guaranteed. And we're out of money. I don't know why I'm, buying, why I'm buying room, although I already have room. I mean, the answer is because the early room is the best value for money room you can find. But only value for money. Uh, we should be losing here. They have a double weapon build. Although regen might keep us alive. I mean, regen is keeping us alive and shielding is also keeping us alive. And fatigue is actually going to benefit us more than them. Actually, no, because we have poison. Yeah, we won. Because we are out poisoning them, when we out poison them, we want the game to be as slow as possible. We found a two cost attack speed, and we're gonna definitely buy this. Although, right now, it doesn't even fit anywhere, but whatever. Uh, we found healing. No, 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 we're gonna get potions and whatnot. Oh, we got even more room. That's so stupid. I'm just buying room for no reason. Like, I'm. <laughs> this is anti min max as it goes. Anyway, let's go. Wait, I can definitely min max this just as much more. I would say something like this. This does not make sense. I mean, this does make sense, but I'm missing on a room on this. Uh, I can definitely fit this better. This is stupidity incarnate. I'm going to do the same exact thing, but on the other side. Ha! I fit everything. <laughs> and I can fit even more. <laughs> All of these are going to activate. Uh, and I can fit even, even more. No, I cannot feed even even more. <laughs> let's go. This is still stupid though, but at least I have a lot of poison activation. So let's hope we're gonna win. We're gonna lose. <laughs> I did all this min max for nothing. For nothing. Good day, sir. We have four region. Let's see how busted the four region is. The, all, all the min max was done, so I can fit as many things into the coffin as possible, so I can maybe poison the opponent more. I'm not seeing that actually pan out the way I hoped it would. And we're toast. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, we found the first corrupted crystal, which I'm guaranteed gonna buy. This is instant fatigue build, 4.5 backpack. And we found a attack speed fanny pack, which is also guaranteed take. Flip this like that, flip this like this, and go here. Very nice, let's go. I want more healing herbs and more region, more heal. I, I, I think I want to start forcing the build, man. I think I want to start straight up going for all the, for all the region and weird stuff I can find. Maybe just bananas is the play. Just get a bunch of bananas and then rotate over to books. Then rotate over to, I don't know, just, just a bunch of whatever. And reroll again, again, and again. And we win because fatigue obviously is very, very, very busted right now for us. As we are out fatiguing everything. Nice. Nice. We got the first healing potion. That's exactly what I wanted. The bolum. And now the gloves of face. I'm going to buy this and put it on the fatigue. And if anything, I'm going to also put this. No, 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 no. Put this into fatigue. Something like that. Something like this. Fatigue is my best weapon. Roll them. And now they're all corrupted crystal. Unbelievable that I got another corrupted crystal this early. Or com completely unbelievable to me. 
This is very lucky that we that the thing that just happened now is just broke the game for us. Uh, we found the shield of Valor, which is really powerful in general. But I do want to force this healing potion, stupid build. I'm gonna get this thing just to be able to survive against the ribcage blades because this is anti ribcage blade, and I would also like to buy even more room. I'm gonna throw away the wooden buckler and gonna get that. Okay, if I had uh, done that switch already, I would have survived here. I mean, we will survive this because we are a super fatigue build at this point. Yesterday, I, I showcased the fatigue build. Today, I, I, I break the fatigue build, I guess, for region. I mean, I'm saying yesterday, but maybe I'm going to showcase these out of order. So it's not repetitive. Easy win. Trinky Nunku. Bye bye. Fatigue wins for us. <laughs> In case you don't know how fatigue build will, works, every time fatigue hits, uh, it does the damage it has. So right now, for example, here it activates, it does 10 damage. This is the fatigue of the round. That's why we both take it, right? They take 10, I take 1, because they had 10 stacks of fatigue, I have 1. And then the crystal activates, boom, another 11 fatigue. Because they had 10 fatigue, with the crystal they go up to 11, they take 1 more damage. Actually, no, this is not the crystal fatigue, this is the round fatigue. This is the crystal fatigue. So they take 18, and then here they take again, and then here they take again. You see, they take the fatigue damage again and again and again, because the crystal activates again and again and again. Okay, I'm going to sell this stone. Uh, this, this is a wooden buckler, I would say. Actually, for now, we have room, so I don't need to sell anything. You join, and you go here. So now this here says that, first of all, items that are around it 60, get 30% more shielding, and also 35% chance to get 8 shielding when the opponent attack us. Okay, we found another one of these. Perfect, that's godlike. Uh, do I even care about the garlic at this point? Do I even care about... Actually, forget the dagger, I would say. I don't want to deal with spikes killing us. That's uh, that's literally my reasoning right here. I just don't want spikes killing us. That's stupid. And I would say, yeah, we get more as, as many of these as possible. I want to get as many healing orbs and healing potions as possible. That's the build I want to do. And they are... They know. They know. Dumbarus. They know. They have a bunch of shielding, but it's okay. They also have a stone build. Partial stone build? Nope, it's just a one-time stone. It's okay, we're gonna win. Fatigue's coming in, and these crystals are gonna continue firing. And then just over. Fatigue sets in. 110, 11, 14, 15, 16, 18, dead. <laughs> Gone. Nobody does so much damage. So in the end, we got Mr. Struggles. Death go to premier fatigue item. Every 2.5 seconds inflicts fatigue. So now we have three items that inflict fatigue. And then on debuff. So when we get debuffed, we we have a chance, 25% chance to deflect the same debuff back. Who cares about that? And then when items trigger... Uh, no, no, no. The items that are connected to this trigger 100% faster during fatigue. Which during fatigue is when we kill the opponent. We got a Jinx or Killer, which uh, for five, I'm going to take it. This is obviously also a fatigue helper. Oh no, there was... Well, holy armor is definitely something I want. I just threw away. We didn't find what we wanted. Got the Torquilla. Uh, reorganize time. I would say this goes. I don't even want it anymore. Reorganize time. Back. Okay, I got the Torquilla hitting all the gems. Hitting everything. Hitting the main uh, culprits of the deck. And we should be winning here. It should be over. We are also removing uh, healing from the opponents with garlic, but that does not really matter that much. We should be winning. We should be winning. We got all the attack speed on the Corrupted Crystal. This Corrupted Crystal starts with three attack speed. This one starts with four. And the Torrid Killer is going to make them even faster. Speed is of the essence here. Speed is the most important aspect of this build. We got our region up and running. Now I'm healing more than what they are healing. And now fatigue sets in. And these things are going to fire 17 fatigue already, 20 dead. Dead. The moment fatigue sets in, it's over. 1.41 attack speed, 1.55, 1.92. The moment, like the second, 15 seconds is when fatigue sets in. Look at them. They have, here, fatigue sets in right here. So they have, right now, 96 life. Fatigue damage 14, fatigue damage 15. And two and a half, three seconds later, they're dead. Fatigue, 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 fatigue. Boom, 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 dead. Man, like three seconds after fatigue sets in, they just die. We found our healing potion. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. We need room. Uh, this is an attack speed room. We're gonna buy that. Roll them. Uh, do I want blueberries and mana? Not really. I'm gonna force what I said I wanna force. And that's potions. And regen. And find another potion. Very nice. Potions and regen. Potions and regen. What I said I'm gonna set up, that's what I'm gonna set up. Let's go on to the left. Uh, how can I reorganize? I mean, I can just put the potions here right now. It's okay. And we're gonna buy that. Let's go. And then we need also potion slot. Right now, I don't think we're going to lose. Oh, this is a blindness build. We started with 10 blindness. 
as long as we survive this and now with him blindness they are out of regen so they were not gonna get blinded again so now their damage is gonna fall off extremely fast and now fatigue sets in and we dps them before they dps us bye bye <laughs> bye bye get deleted nice that combines bring me this and now crystal let's go the true crystal build is here we did it boys i don't think i need this roll them i'm not gonna even get i'm i'm i'm, I'm super forcing this build out <laughs> Perfect, even more region. Okay, I need to reorganize this, obviously. We will buy the fanny pack for even more attacks and everything. Um, no, no, we don't want fanny packs. Actually, I do want fanny packs. Okay, reorganize time regardless. Okay, back. Everything's back in order. Oh man, this is going awesome. This is going awesome. I'm seeing the holy armor, but at this point it's irrelevant. I just want potions and corrupted crystals, man. That's it. That's it. Just one more attack speed, I guess. Oh, and Mr. Struggle to build. Oh no. Hey, they're trying the same as we do. Oh, they have a ripsade blade, so we will be a bit contrary. At least the region part's going to be contrary. Otherwise, we're good. Come on, fatigue again faster. Fatigue kick in faster and fire. Fire dead. <laughs> dead. Deleted, man. Deleted. Deleted. Fatigue activates at 15 seconds. They took 19 and 20 and it's over. Insane. And we're still doing fatigue damage regardless of fatigue uh, being active or not. Yep, that's good. Let's roll them. I got no regen. I will buy as many regions as possible. And we also found the potion room. Thank you. Push them all to the left. Very nice. Very nice. The build is potion regen and fatigue. That's it. Potion regen and fatigue. Potion regen and fatigue. Nothing else. Nothing else. And it's another. Oh, it's not a ripcage blade. So we will keep our regen. Right now we don't have enough, but it's gonna trigger here, and we're gonna get a million six from one. Okay, one activated. We got six. Boom. Second activated. We got twelve. Eight. Twelve. And now fatigue sets in, and boom, boom. Let's go. Hundred twenty-five life. That's not enough. Dead. <laughs> Ah, deleted 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 from 15 seconds from 15 seconds they died at 18 wow this is insane man the difference is insane at the 15 seconds mark i've only done 190 damage at the 19 seconds it's 400 no fatigue only no fatigue only potions and up here we go potion belt now these all have a 3% chance twice to activate multiple times. Go up here. Uh, and yeah, and you go up here. Ooh, uh, one up, I guess. Yeah, uh, the next one's gonna go down there. Let's roll him. Uh, do I need more room right now? I guess 444 is always worth it. 444 is always worth it. Oh, it's a it's an anti buff anti debuff build. We're gonna get hit very heavily here. This is almost a burst build. We do have a shield of valor saving us, and also we have a bunch of regen maybe keeping us alive. I have twenty regen right now. Should keep us alive. They're out of stamina. Come on, fatigue, fire, fatigue, go out, raise them, fatigue. No, no, we were so close, so close. One, two more seconds, we would have won guaranteed. Two more seconds, would have won guaranteed. Another torquilla. I'm gonna buy that. Orkillas are maybe the most important thing. Would like it to be down here or up here. Could I have a Torquilla up here? Should I push everything one spot down and have the Torquilla right here? I think I should. And this? I guess... Here, so that all the Torquillas hit it? Yeah. Let's roll them. Even more attack speed. I guess Mr. Struggle needs attack speed, or the Torquilla needs attack speed. Roll ah, no rolls. Let's go. Yeah, all the all the crystals. Every single one of the corrupted crystals is getting hit, so I'm good. This is a crit staff. And this is a mana build with a bunch of book of lights. Let's see how this is gonna fare against us. I don't think they got this. I want to get more crystals though, and I want to get more potions. More crystals, more potions. More crystals, more po 12 regen. Let's go. And we won. Fatigue sets in. It's over. It's super, it's super over, man. After fatigue sets in. They died within even faster than the previous one. Let's go. 
Give me potions. Give me potions. Here we go. I want this. Roll them. Roll them. This for two. It's pretty cheap. It doesn't fit though. I mean, it does fit here. It definitely fits room-wise. Like, I can just reorganize and fit it for sure. But do I even want to do that? I mean, I'm not sure I even want to do that. And my potions are gonna be like zigzaggy here. I need four of these uh, strong potion belts. Let's, uh, let's roll. We're not gonna have room anyway. I need more potions. Oh, we found our regen. Let's go. And we need more potions and we need more... Oh, it's the same build with us. They have more defense, I guess. More shielding. And Rip Cage Blade's gonna take away what we want. I don't have healing, by the way. Like, we don't have healing. We only have regen as part of the build. And I guess a Shield of Valor. So, these getting popped is my only healing I actually have. And Fatigue's kicking in. And they're gonna outscale us in how fast they lose. Look at their life. Look at their life. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Look at this. 18 seconds here, and then we and then here we go, boom, fatigue. 30 from 112, 30, 31, 32, and 33, all back to back within 0 0.3 seconds. <laughs> just just melted. Just melted them. Get the region. Roll them. Give me potions. Potions. Potionis. Oh, we found our potion belt, which goes here. You up here, these are most likely gonna get sold. No. No, where are the healing potions, man? And another potion belt, which obviously I don't need. Sell this. Found the regen. I mean, I'm gonna buy the regen. <laughs> this is such a wonky build. Such a wonky build. I can get another one with the Shield of Valor. I would like to sell this and this. Actually, I will sell this right away anyway. And this. And buy this. And get the Shield of Valor. Double Shield of Valor is very good against DPS builds. And then I just need the, the, the build I'm already trying to get. 433 shielding. Let's see how that's gonna pan out for you. Let's see how that's gonna pan out. I have regen. You don't have ribcage blade, so... I do have healing. Now I heal more. Let's see. Okay, fatigue sets in. Can I burn through your shielding and your life? Look at this. They're just dying. We won. <laughs> we outscaled them at the very final second. Man, we almost lost there at the end. Look at our life just going down. And, like, uh, we were actually dying. And then 33, 34, 35. Boom, boom, boom. Three back to back. Oh, we're about to die. Oh, we're about to die. Mana thirst, mana thirst, mana thirst. Regenerate health. Take damage from us. And then here at the very final moment, I had, I had six life. A region saved us, first of all. 37, 38, 39, 40, everything back to back. Insane, insane. Fatigue damage is the build, man. Let's go here, boom. So now these have, both of them have a 3% more stamina and shield gain on each other. So we're going to be defending, I guess. Could go for another one of these. Uh, I would like it where, though? I guess I would like it here. This would be the perfect spot for it. And I'm going to put it right here. And the shield idea is gone already. And we got our crystal. So the shield I got is already gone. I mean, I'm going to put the shield here. I'm not going to throw that away. We have still three turns to survive regardless. Let's go. Now we got even faster attack speed. And this is a shield build, which is relevant to us. And a ribcage blade build, which is very bad against us. Very bad for us. We're going to not have healing is the issue. We do have fatigue though. And by the way, these fatigue triggers are damaging. Look at this, 16. We are damaging even before the fatigue sets in. When the fatigue sets in, we just speed up the death. The death. Uh oh, they got shielding. Uh oh, panic, panic. Nope, they're dead. Dead. <laughs> they, they can't survive, man. Look at this. 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. All at it at the same time within one second. Whoop, dead. Love it. Love it. And we're gonna crystal. Obviously, we're gonna take that. Gets hit by... What's the best crossroad? This here. There is exactly one spot here, which is the perfect crossroad. And I would like to be able to put something in there. Oh, I do. I can. This. Perfect. As simple as that. Okay. We got some defense. I mean... I could go for it. Do I want 55 shielding or 35% chance to get 8? I think I want these. I think I want to be strong against uh, attack builds and not just have a bunch of shielding. Poison builds are not a thing, by the way. We couldn't go anti burst. No, forget that. We were going for crystals, man. Or potions, which don't exist, by the way. We found a one for one. 
Let's go. <laughs> Potions are not a thing. This is the real crystal build, man. Oh. Falcon Blade. This is gonna destroy us. This is supposed to be a burst build. Uh, we just start drinking our healing. They don't have removal on my region. I've just drunk all my region. I'm dead. Wow, they destroyed us. I want to see this. 16 stacks of empower. Wow, these were doing 21 to 22 harm and crit chance damage. And they also had 10 luck. Man, I had three Jinx or killers and I still was not able to remove all the luck they had. Unbelievable. Because the piercing art was getting them too much luck. I want to see the logs. Yeah, I didn't even get the fatigue, and the carrot gubits literally destroyed us. Yeah, we, we got bursted down to death, and then 42, and then another 40, and we just got destroyed. The carrot gubits, by the way, in case you don't know, these uh, cleanse three debuffs, which is irrelevant to us because fatigue is not uh, removable, and then they give them two damage for five seconds. So that's why they had 16. Okay, we got destroyed. We got destroyed. You join, you also join regen. Regen is only the only thing I'm going for. Roll them. Uh, this is the final fight. So at this point we won, as I have two lives and one survival turn to survive. I guess I'm gonna buy four shielding for one coin. Coin. I guess I can get one last potion for shielding or something, something. I mean, it's cheap. I will buy a last potion. A last ditch effort. Uh, is this even gonna fire? I mean, if I have it in the middle, it will fire. But do I want it to fire? I don't even care about this. Is this ever gonna fire? If if I shield twice back to back and it just so happens that this fires, maybe? I mean, there isn't anything better here anyway. This sells for three, so I'm, I'm, I guess we're gonna get this. And this is a five, 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 uh, five fatigue items build. And this is a burst build, so let's hope we're gonna somehow survive the burst. Oh, it's happening. No, this is the build I've been... Uh, I mean, potions are gonna start popping now. We have regen. And they are out of energy, so burst is over. Burst is over, and now fatigue sets in, and now we win. Da -da 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 got him! Let's go. Let's go. We survived the burst and won with 26 regen. Their regen build. This is the regen build plus fatigue, I guess. I was a, a lot unlucky. I was very unlucky of not getting the strong healing potions that I wanted. I had four healing orbs lined up. Imagine having all of these into potions, man. This would not be 26. This would have been 40 or something, as all of them would pop each other. It's a bit unlucky on that end. But uh, we did win. We did win. We did 560 damage. The fatigue build is a thing. Un until Unless they change how fatigue works right now. Look at this. I was losing up to this point. Right? They were still destroying us. Look, look at the speed at which we take them down. The moment fatigue sets in. 14 seconds, right? 14 seconds. Fatigue had not set in yet. We have 116 life. They have 200. Boom. Fatigue sets in. They take 24 and 25 and 26 and 27 and 28 all within the first second of fatigue seconds second second comes along 29 plus 30 plus 31 plus 32 plus 33 and they died like the fatigue is insane as a mechanic every time you get a stack you just get even more i don't know what people are doing with the the corrupted crystals on those on on the swords as if that 50 percent more damage at half health i mean this is a burst build that's the idea yeah, I get the idea. I get the idea. Like, you want the opponent to go down to half health, and then the moment they hit 3D, you smack him one more time and they die. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't really say that that's, that's good. Doesn't matter, though. We won. We destroyed these boys. Let's go. And they were still blinding us even more. Let's go. We won with the regen build, which is also partially fatigue build. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.